All right, thank you so much for joining me in today's video. And today we're gonna to talk about five different ways or platforms that you could use to sell some of your old stuff or make some additional cash or money from it. So that way you could continue to improve your personal finances. All right, so if you wanna go ahead and sell some stuff, maybe you got some old things, maybe you got some new things, whatever the case is, if you wanna make some profits, there's a few different things that you could sell. So that's kind of the first starting point. So what should you sell? You could sell good condition items that you own, coats, instruments, china, items that you make, you know, could be by hand, jewelry, knit items, cards, it could be wood related furniture, or items you upcycle or recycle. In other words, uh, furniture, you take an old piece and you make it new, or clothing, you take an old piece like a wedding dress and you make it newer, or hot wanted items, drop shipping. In other words, somebody buys something, you just put the order in and it ships to your client, or in other words, you buy something kind of and then resell it for uh, a, a more expensive price. Okay, so that's kind of the first big thing is like figure out what should you sell and maybe the platform that you enjoy using it on. So the first big platform is eBay and it's best suited for selling outside of your local area. It's got a large exposure to buyers. It's easy to become a seller and selling physical goods is best. So here we are on eBay. It's basically Cyber Monday here or the night of Cyber Monday as I do this and record it. So if I'm interested in, let's say, oh, look, gifts, you know, so let's look for a drill uh, cordless. You could look things up, do a quick search and see what you got. So you got a lot of different things here that, you know, there's probably some pre-owned right here and uh, boom, you could go ahead and list your old drill for sale. Uh, if you want clothes, like let's say uh, pre-owned, again, I'm just searching pre-owned because you're probably selling pre-owned stuff. Let's just say pre-owned jeans. And uh, now you might have, you know, a bunch of pre-owned jeans that people are selling that, hey, maybe you're interested in them. Um, or it could be, let's just say a uh, craft uh, or a painting that somebody made. So now you're looking at a painting, boom and you've got some goods. Now, eBay, I will say, I've sold a lot of different things on eBay. Usually what happens is, is, you know, I might be selling like an old laptop that I've been using for a while for travel or that kind of thing. Or maybe there's a specialized uh, video card. Let's just, just see if they have it. Um, NVS, uh, NVS 810. So for example, here, somebody selling it's pre-owned. I don't think you can even buy it anymore. Uh, but anyway, I picked up a few of these back in the day, I think about a year ago, still using these. Uh, but they, they were difficult to find, but they have a lot of ports. So if you look at all these video ports, this is kind of how I run a lot of my video production, my stock investing and trading as well. Um, so I've got a handful of these cards around. Uh, but yeah, it's great if you have like a lot of these um, items that maybe people want that you have, maybe that are older and you're trying to offload some of your things. Fantastic place to do it. Okay, let's take a look at number two, and that is the Facebook Marketplace. It's great to sell locally for these things. Now, they're started to include some stuff on shipping, um, but I personally just deal things with cash on this, um, and we've done a few things. And <laughs> what's funny is, uh, actually, a few people have actually recognized me on on these things. So it's kind of a, a little weird weird thing that happens with me on this Facebook stuff. So, anyways, uh, point being um, is that if you search for again, let's just say drill press, and I'm just going to do it in the Tampa area here, and you've got like, look, you've got stuff all over the place. Uh, you've got let's just say uh, kids' toys. We we buy a lot of kids' toys, you know, because they just go through it like uh, pretty quick. They might use it for like two weeks and then they're done. So we buy some stuff and then we resell it um, just because then the kids get exposed to kind of new educational toys, different kinds of toys, or they might use it and then they're, they're just done with it. So uh, I feel like buying new is kind of a waste. And some things, you know, these days with the pandemic stuff, they're not all around. And sometimes you want some like vintage toys, uh, which are really cool. Like I find like some things are pretty fascinating. You can't even buy at the store. So these, this is a great place to get that kind of stuff. Um, if you're interested in, in these things and uh, maybe for kids, like uh, there's educational toys, uh, Melissa and uh, Doug here toys. So again, lots of cool, um, cool stuff that you could get and pick up that maybe you can or cannot find at a store. So anyways, Facebook Marketplace is definitely a cool spot to grab a bunch of stuff. And uh, if you're also looking to sell those things, you could post your items for sale and uh, you know list it. But obviously there's a bit of communication. It's a lot, lot back and forth with like texting or text messages through Facebook rather than on eBay. It's kind of like your items listed, it's auctioned off or buy now button and it's sold and it's gone, you ship it. Here it's more local. There's gonna be drivability sometimes involved. We picked up a 
furniture piece here and there with with Facebook just for kids rooms and, and that kind of stuff um, and yeah so it's just a little bit different now there's also another thing if you're interested and if you want to make some additional income on things like maybe Etsy where you might make things um, by hand like a homemade thing a craft item or some vintage things now uh, if you check out Etsy there's a lot of things right now if you here's if you just click it you can see all the popular stuff so there's like Cyber Monday toys and games necklaces for her so let's just look at uh, you know like a, a wood table even um, this is something like you know I enjoy some some woodworking and, and some stuff like that I don't always have the time for it but like take a look some people do like woodworking tables and uh, this kind of stuff that they start designing and they sell it and they ship it to you and they you custom make it other people if you've never heard of it there is like quilling cards and uh, you know if you're interested in like paper folding and, and that kind of stuff like check this check this stuff out I mean it's pretty amazing and if you got the talent all they're doing is like rolling paper and look you could get like a, a nice quilling card and especially if you're like a teenager or a kid and you just spend you know like an hour and you do this and you make like 10 bucks I, I don't know how long it would take you exactly but you know there's a lot of um a lot of cool things that you can do here's like a, a Christmas card that's quilled like look at that that's fantastic that's amazing and uh, boom we got you know Christmas card right here that's just remarkable uh, all these different types of quilling cards so anyways if you do things handmade there's a lot of great stuff here like jewelry and accessories they could also do some things like on uh, wedding and party favors that's also pretty big and huge um, from wedding accessories to jewelry and a lot of people do like wedding party favors there because uh, then you get uh, a lot of kind of the workload done for your wedding especially if you need like 50 or 100 party favors uh, that also starts to add up from time you doing it yourself so you just kind of outsource to people doing it by hand and they can kind of get it done for you so Etsy's really good for a lot of uh, cool stuff like this and uh, there's just a lot of things that people are willing to do kind of handmade okay um, the other thing I want to share with you and this is kind of number four is selling electronics if you look at electronics there's a few different things that you could uh, sell it on again you could do it on eBay but things like Swappa Glide Gazelle uh, these are some other areas so here is Swappa so if I'm interested in let's just say phones and you could say okay I'm interested in uh, let's say and I, I'm gonna go to the pixel let's just say four um, you could pay $199 and there's you know used pixels I could say unlock and now hey who's who's selling so here's the current prices and you could basically pick up a kind of a used pixel phone now in your case if you're selling it if you've got one this is kind of what you're doing is like hey here's the seller here's the phone quality and you could list your phone and um, I would imagine these sites they're getting a cut I've never sold on these things before but my team did some research and this is kind of the way they operate is, is it's very similar to kind of an eBay model except you're just listing your item for sale and if you get the order your phone is kind of sold so here's again another one pixel 3 and here's a uh, gazelle so you could say buy or you could say sell so trade in for cash so let's just say I'm buying um, obviously on the sell side it'd be a little different but you know you could see there's different products for sale so if you have these types of tech and gadget stuff you could sell all kinds of different things um, on there and uh, again this is just more so for electronics and, and that kind of stuff okay let's look at the next one and if you've got a lot of older clothes um, or clothes that you want to get rid of maybe it's, they're newer with tags you just haven't worn them selling some things from your closet it's a win-win it clears out your closet or unused items and you can make some extra cash so things like Poshmark or ThreadUp um, that my team found uh, seems to be uh, pretty popular and if you go in and check out Poshmark so here it is they've basically are selling kind of popular name brands right because if you don't have like a bigger name brand it, let's just say something is twenty dollars and then now it's used or slightly used now it might be worth ten dollars then the shipping then the cost of it it just doesn't make it worthwhile so they probably will sell things that are a little bit more higher end or more expensive so let's just take a look at here you know Sony so here is Sony uh, hat or cap or even some PlayStation stuff or let's go into the women's side and you could see uh, some of the things uh, over here like Sony headsets and, and so on uh, if you go to thread up let's go into a designer let's just shop designer you can see there's 50,000 items so again uh, you can see this is a little more expensive you know 278 81 dollars 139 dollars so you know you're browsing some more 
you know, you could say quality name brands and that kind of stuff. So uh, again, more expensive, maybe if you have some more premium clothes, uh, then you could go ahead and list them or sell them on these sites as well to make a little bit of extra income or cash. So I hope you found these uh, sites helpful and insightful and gives you some things to think about. Again, they all function a little bit different, but the point is, is they get exposure. If you're doing things locally, Facebook Marketplace typically works well. Unfortunately, the downside things with clothes like that, people don't want to drive. So you may want to use like a clothing store or website to help sell those things like on eBay and that kind of stuff um, or some of these uh, clothing areas. If you're doing electronics, again, use the electronic based uh, websites to sell that kind of stuff. If you're doing maybe uh, just shipping and you're trying to turn a lot of inventory, maybe eBay. So again, everybody's a little different. Find what platform works for you based on what you're selling and kind of stick to a couple of them that make sense. Um, again, if you just have a few things to sell, maybe Facebook Marketplace, maybe eBay. But if you're trying to kind of build a, a business around, you might start actually placing yourself in a lot of different areas. So anyways, I hope this helps, gives you some ideas to kind of get started and start making a little bit of income on the side. Maybe you want to turn it into a business, but whatever the case is, keep improving your money and your finances. Thanks for joining me and I will see you in the next video.